back at the canyon of some sorts. Playing some Donkey Kong. I'm loving this game, man. I'm kind of enjoying yeah, the shit I'm, out of I'm, it. I'm digging it. It's one of those uh, easy, easy to pick up and just have a little adventure. Right. Now, I've done this fucking special stage so many times. I need to get the fuck out of this level, dude. This level's a bitch right here. Have you, have you gotten to this level yet? No, I haven't gotten here dude, yet. Dude, it is a I'm lagging fucking behind. son of a bitch. Ah, oh, dude. There's a way to fucking nab that in such a way that you can get all this shit in there. But I'm not having it today. Right. No, that's what I say about this game, though. It's like it, it follows... It's just like if you would have like went and picked this up new in 1994, like you just have to have the 1994 skills, oh, gosh, which is basically God. like exactly what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, right up your alley. <clears throat> ah, motherfucker! Boy, this this, ain't this looks like a, this looks like a son of a bitch, man. Barrel Cannon Canyon. You can suck it. Yeah, totally. Oh, I think I caught up with you. Nice. Oh, uh, fuck you! Oh, fuck, uh, fuck are you! Okay. Oh man. Oh fuck. What is new? In the oh world? no! Oh man, blue oh, alligators. Blue oh, alligators. They're new in the world. Man, if I ever saw a blue alligator jumping at my ass in the wild, I'd, I wouldn't try to jump on top of it. Right. That's, that's the last. for <laughs> fucking sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder what happens if I jump on top of it. Death. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna skip that fucking power up thingy this time right. because I'm just overdoing that. Right. Uh, I was trying to do it in the in the power way where you just right. keep rolling. Please let me have the fucking barrel that I want. Ah <laughs> <laughs> You son of a bitch. It's like not today. I feel like Diddy Kong is easier to handle. Yeah. And I, I kind of wonder if that was a thing. Because I remember when this game came out, they were like advertising Diddy Kong like a motherfucker. Right. It's kind of like when they introduced Tails to the Sonic games. Absolutely. And that and how lame was Tails? You know, like... He's being, kind of a motherfucker. Being able to play as Tails was really, I think, the answer... To, uh, like, Tails was the answer to the big brother that had the little brother. That, right. that really couldn't quite play games, you know? Mm -hmm. But it, like, helped them feel like they were playing the game with their brother. Way to go, Sega. You guys are some wholehearted <laughs> motherfucking people right See, there. See, didn't, didn't Tails, like, fly and shit, though? Yeah. And, like, do some shit? Like, um... That's one of those things. I, I remember, I don't remember what it was called, but there was a, a cartridge you could get, and you plugged in your other Sonic games to the top of this motherfucker. Yeah. And then, like, you could play Tails and, like, whatever Sonic game Well, it was actually, was. yeah, you're right, but, um... It was uh, Knuckles. There was oh, that's right. Yeah, he, Knuckles was a little bastard, right? Well, in the in the very he showed up in Sonic Three, and he was the bad guy of right. Sonic Three. Like Eggman had him uh, brainwashed into thinking that Sonic was a bad guy. And uh, yeah, so then like what you could do is Sonic and Knuckles had like, had this thing God damn it. that you could plug Sonic Two into. And you could play as Knuckles in Sonic 2, and you could also put in Sonic 3 and play as Knuckles in Sonic 3. Right. Uh, which uh, does it will <clears throat> it works on the Retron, um, but only if you update it. And I'm right. scared to update the son of a bitch. Right. Because I, I I've heard tales of people having trouble with their shit after they fucking right. do that. Hopefully, I can... Because another thing that you can do with the Retron is you can buy Japanese versions of games, which are much cheaper, because apparently there's a bunch of them. Right. So you can buy Super Mario RPG uh, on... Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Motherfucker. So you can buy Super Mario RPG, which is like a $50 game here in the States. You can buy it for like 8 bucks if you buy the Japanese version. But... It's all in Japanese. So, <laughs> Which is kind of not what you're after on an RPG. Definitely not. <laughs> but you can... Um, there's a translator thing that you can put on your... Uh, like a, on an SD card. And it'll translate all that shit for you. So... That's probably going to happen soon. Uh, hopefully they don't fucking... Like it is a thing. What I meant by happen soon is with my console. Right. 
because I, I would like to save some pennies. I found a guy who's selling both Super Mario World and Super Mario RPG for like $18 or best offer. And I made a best offer. At that's, like, that's another game I never ever played to. Super Mario like, RPG? Yeah. I owned it during that time that we were doing stuff, but I don't think... Um, I don't think I I don't know if we were still like really playing that heavy at the time. I, I don't remember. Right. But I'm thinking about picking that up because I wouldn't mind adding the RP, RPG shit to this to this show. Right. And, and it you know being up your alley with it being Mario and stuff. Right. But yeah, that's gonna be one of those story games. We have we have several story games lined up. I'm thinking you know like fuck oh, son right of a off. Yeah, timing on that's pretty fucking tricky, man. Yeah, totally. I'm not doing so hot. You have that. It is a new game, though. Yeah, right. To me. This so. this part of the game right here is seriously kind of like where I feel like the very first real challenge is. Right. Oh, man. Almost. You're kind of like just getting into the... Yeah. The... Fucking meat of it. You're getting comfortable, and then it uses that against you. Right. <clears throat> All the time with that. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, see, like I said, getting comfortable. <laughs> I love how they just, like, rub their nuggets. <laughs> yeah, they don't die. They just right. fall down. They're like, well. <laughs> I give up. So I'll just transubstantiate to a barrel somewhere. <laughs> so I guess Ozzy Osbourne is missing? Somebody <laughs> said something about that, and somebody else was missing too, and I heard like some fucking internet joke that was pretty funny about uh, that. Right. Like, uh, go find these guys. I don't, t I don't trust 2016 anymore. <laughs> right. Normally it wouldn't be a thing that fucking Ozzy is missing. Shit. <laughs> but Ozzy's off banging his hairdresser is what's going on there. Right. Like, way to go, Ozzy. I mean, if the guy is old enough, as as old as he is, and he's still getting some strange. Yeah. Good for I mean, you. If there's one person that's like, as far as a television personality that I detest, it's fucking Sharon Osbourne. Right. That you know, like she's like a plaid fucking douche, man. <laughs> like, no redeeming qualities whatsoever. God, yeah, not so much. She used to bang Randy Rhodes, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Randy was such a good friend. Right. <laughs> like, like, Ozzy was all seriously broke up with that motherfucker. <laughs> That's just, like, a weird thing. Maybe they just, like, were like, yeah, you know, he can bang my wife if you want. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. oh. I gotta give that up. Yeah, man. It looks pretty fucking tough. Yeah. You gotta wonder what Randy Rhodes was thinking, man. Like, he could have been knocking down any strange ever. Like, he was just trying to get in with the boss lady. Well, she was she was pretty attractive back in the day. You know, like, back... Now she looks like an unwashed asshole. <laughs> exactly like that. Like, when you look that up on Google Images, like, Sharon Osbourne, <laughs> like, oh, is that Sharon oh, Osbourne? Oh, no, it's just an unwashed asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. That better, same place gets me every fucking time. We better dude. watch what we say, otherwise Jack and Kelly might, you know, like, talk about us oh, good on Lord. TV. <laughs> Actually, Jack Osborne's like, really sick, from what I understand. Oh, yeah. Something like that, like, or maybe he's... Did you know he had some fucking paranormal show? Oh, God. <laughs> God. Well, just once you put these dicks on TV, they just right. never want to stop. Right. Well, I remember Ozzy had the other daughter that like wouldn't even be on the show. Yeah, like, man, and to do with she it. was smoking hot. Like, I don't even think I've ever seen a picture of the chick because she was like legitimately put off by the whole thing. Right. Which you have to fucking admire. Absolutely. <laughs> you know? Yeah, when, I, I've seen pictures of her now, and she looks way too much like Sharon. To be, but she's like the same story, like smoking hot when she was a younger Right. Chick. I guess that's probably like, whoa. Oh dude, save. Oh man, oh man, okay, don't 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 fucking lose your shit. Pull it together. You're doing it. Ah! <laughs> yes! Nice. I've done it! I've done it! <laughs> okay, I don't even care about the G. Okay, asshole. 
Nice, dude. I think I'm gonna go back and get that G. <laughs> Got you. That uh, doesn't even matter. <laughs> oh well. Got through that shit. How about that? Nice, dude. Oh yeah. Very nicely done. Oh man. Well, so, yeah, little victory. Time for the time for tomorrow. We will see you then. Yes. We gotta. We gotta. You know, I'd say next time on the show. I think that's a good. I think that's a good end. But but then we have to say what happens next time on the next time on the show. We touch Tiny Tim on his tiny tits. Tiny Tim's tiny tits. Totally. Totes.